Hi everyone, Katie here. Welcome back to another layout video. Today I have some more photos from my trip to Peru, and this was when we were at Machu Picchu, and I have a lot of photos. Way too many to put on even a double page layout. So I do something that I think is pretty clever. Maybe it's not as unique as I think, but um, I really like how it turns out. I have um, some pocket pages that have 12 four by six pockets um, in them and then there are 12 by 12 you know size and I cut off one row of them so I have the inner row and the uh, you know three holes for the binder in the album and I've put six photos in there and I'm going to put that in between my uh, two page spread in my three ring binder style album. Um, so I think that is a kind of a unique way of incorporating more photos onto a layout that, you know, really just can't hold, you know, 11 photos or whatever it is. So now I'm working on my two page spread. I have three pages here actually from Echo Park. Uh, two of them, you can see the matching two are from the Jungle Safari collection and the green one has little green plus signs, I'm sorry, little blue plus signs on it, and it is from the Never Grow Up collection. Neither of these are being used as they were intended, you know, uh, or as they were themed to do, but that's okay. I really like how it turns out, and I think they coordinate really well. So I have, um, you know, half on one side, half on the other of this blue and green pattern page. Um, I used my Cricut to kind of cut it perfectly in half and to round the corners to make kind of like a you know rounded box I suppose that goes through both uh, pieces of the layout. And I think that just you know makes them a little bit more cohesive. Now I have another page from Simple Stories. This is from let's see I want to say oh happy day that's what it is it's teal on one side and lime on the other and really either one would have worked well with my layout that I'm working on today but I chose the teal side and I'm using that just to mat all my photos and I do still have um, five no four photos that are not in the little pockets and I trim off a quarter inch on each side, you know, the top and the bottom, basically, or I guess the top and the sides. Just that way I'm able to um, still have nice matte sizes, and it works really well with a 12 by 12 paper and having, you know, a lot of photos. And I didn't really feel like I was cutting off, you know, a lot of important stuff by trimming down just a quarter of an inch, although I will say... I don't want to trim any of these photos because honestly my camera was not wide enough um, and there was so much more to capture uh, than I ever could with a camera. It was just amazing. Highly recommend you get yourself to Machu Picchu um, if you can. It was so amazing. So now I've got my four photos which is not you know a whole lot for a double page layout and you can see there I put in my extra um, six so that I will have that in the middle. Now, focusing back on the layout here, I decided to use some washi tape. As you can see, I have a very full container of washi tape and I would like to use that a little more than I do. So I'm using this blue and um, it's almost like a kind of tropical, you know, leaves and flowers kind of pattern, which I think is appropriate. I'm going for a kind of jungly theme and it works, I think. I also use my, um, it's like map pieces, like little bits of old map. That's from Simple Stories. And then I choose a glitter washi tape that's like a glittery green. I think it's supposed to be like a sea foam. I think it was in a mermaid pack or something, but I think it works really well. And then I also really love how the sparkle is what's kept on top. And, you know, I just always think your layouts need a little bit of sparkle and shine to them. So now I'm adding on uh, the photos, trying to arrange them where I want. I know I want two journaling boxes, one on either side, because I want, when I put the six photos in the middle of these two layouts, I want you to be able to tell, you know, what's going on. Like, why are these random six photos? Well, they're not random, of course, 
in the middle of this page. And uh, that means for me, I want two journaling boxes. So I use the same paper that I use to map my photos and I tear off a little edge and then put a little notebook fringe border um, with my border punch there at the top. And I must just have a little shout out for my border punch because it is from Fiskars and it is um, an interchangeable system. So I don't need a whole punch, uh, a whole you know big punch for each border I have. I'm able to change it in and out with my, um, you know, it's got the stand and then the little punch that pops in. You use a little stand to press down and then you pop out the punch and you can change it with so many different ones, which is fantastic for storage. So check that out if you're in the market for border punches. Now, you can see I draw my lines. I decide to do black lines on this instead of my regular jelly roll sparkle lines just because I wanted it to stand out a little more. Now, usually I'm right in on the journaling, but this time I was not. I wanted to um, decorate my layout a little bit more, so I got out my floral ephemera and most of this is from Simple Stories. I cannot tell you the collection, but it was in my Simple Stories warehouse box. I know that. So it all kind of matches, and I think it kind of goes with the Echo Park, you know, jungly themed paper, all the pretty flowers with it. And thankfully, you know, I have enough of these flowers to spread around the whole layout. Um, and then in order to like fill in the gaps, I use some of my, you know, adventure ephemera. This is from scrapbook.com. Um, scra gosh, I forget the company that it's from, but they have a bunch of different uh, travel themed and destination style um, scrapbooking supplies. And this is the one, if I think I've talked about it in another video that I bought all Rhode Island themed. Uh, which is cool. I've been to Rhode Island. Rhode Island is awesome, but um, I went to Rhode Island in the fourth grade, and I don't think I'm going to be scrapping those photos, so I will have to make some adjustments on some of the things that say Rhode Island, but that's okay. All of these worked really well. They did not have any Rhode Island themes on them, uh, so that worked out for my layout about Machu Picchu, right? Um, but you can see I'm sticking all those down. Those are going to lay flat. Any of my um, florals I'm going to pop up on foam. But I wanted it to just, you know, contrast. Have some, some differences there. They are, um, I guess when you look at them, they kind of have different textures. And I'm talking about my ephemera. The floral ephemera is um, more of a matte to look at it. Whereas the adventure ephemera is more um, of a gloss. So I think it just makes sense that you should have you know one that's popped up and one that stays flat to the layout i think it just adds a little more interest and you know diversity of texture um on the layout which i really like now you do see i have one piece of paige evans uh floral ephemera here it says wonderful and it's you know surrounded by flowers so it's a, a little bit different but i think it works out pretty well with my layout and you know I just needed that one piece I had that one piece left and I was out of the other simple story stuff so you know sometimes things work out and it's okay if it's not all perfectly themed exactly the same at least that's what I think I still like that the way that my layout turns out and you can see that for uh, popping up my ephemera I am using actually three different types of foam I have two foam tapes, one that is uh, skinny, let's see, it's about a quarter of an inch wide. My other one is a wider foam tape that is about almost half an inch wide, maybe three eighths. And then I have my little foam squares that I use all the time. The two tapes came from the Dollar Tree. They are archival quality and I really like them. They work really well. And then the foam squares are Park Lane. I don't know that they make them anymore, unfortunately, but I really like them because when you get foam dots and stuff, they seem to have a lot of waste in the packaging. Um, with the foam squares, there's none. So I really like how much you get to use for, um, you know, the amount that you have. And you see I've got a second journaling box there that I put on the first of the two pages. 
Um, I'm doing my journaling now using my white jelly roll pen, just writing about how we were up on top of, you know, one of the mountains that looks down over the city of Machu Picchu, and it was spectacular. There was still a lot of fog, which I've talked about earlier in my scrapbook, but that did not stop us from enjoying it. At first, we were a little worried that all we'd see was fog, um, but as we were told, um, the fog cleared as the day went on, um, and we were up there uh, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half, not, not super long, but I, I could have stayed up there all day. It was so beautiful. All around us, the natural scenery and the amazing work of um, the Incas on Machu Picchu, I mean, it's really, it just blows you away. Um, all that's around you. So absolutely fantastic. I, you know, if I've got to wait an hour somewhere, that's where I want to do it from now on. Um, just really, really a fantastic experience. No, no picture does it justice and never will. Um, you've got to experience it for yourself. Now I've got a big space over here on the left for my title. I decide I want to, um, write the words Mountain Views of Machu Picchu. That's kind of a big title. So I decide that my um, thickers, I'm going to use my bigger thickers to write out the words mountain views. And I'm using, let's see, what are they called? They are spectacular thickers, which are gold with a black foam underneath. And um, they're another one of my Walmart thickers, which I really enjoy um, using. They're easy to get and they're a little easier on the pocketbook, which is nice. And let me tell you, the foam thickers are the only ones that actually stick well. Um, but you've got to be careful when you're not 100% sure how long your title's going to be. Um, so you can see I make mine, i got to adjust it a little bit, but thankfully I am just barely setting down my stickers so that they, you know, don't hold yet. But then once I get it where I want it, I squish them down and they are locked in place for sure. Now, I am using my Thickers ruler. They have these ruler guides. Um, one ruler that is, you know, straight like a regular ruler. And then I've got two others, one that's on a curve and one that's on a wave. And I've got those in two sizes um, that came in a nice little pack. So those are really nice and helpful to use when you're trying to make everything, you know, straight and stay on your layout nicely. Now, for the words of... Machu Picchu, I use two different letter sets. Um, the ones that I use for Machu Picchu are some other favorite Walmart thickers. Let's see. They are called Happy. How appropriate. And they are smaller gold letter thickers with what looks like kind of like a mint or um, like a minty blue foam underneath. And I love them because they're smaller and that like a million of them come on all on a page. So I still have quite a bit of them and a bit more. And then for the word of, these are some very, very old. They're from, let's see, Provo Craft. And they look like the letters are made out of little sticks, which I wanted some small letters and I didn't have uh, tile stickers in the right color. So these worked out pretty well. So thanks mom for the extremely old supplies because I'm using them. And I think that works out. Now, Machu Picchu, the words down here, do not end up being straight. Or, I guess, aligned perfectly. They're a little bit off, but I end up adding another little piece of ephemera that I think kind of makes the offset appropriate. Because I was thinking, oh man, maybe I need to, you know, move it over or something. But then I kind of liked how it, it uh, was looking. So I decided to just roll with it. And I think that's okay. So now I am about finished with my layouts here, but I um, know that they're, there we go, that they're going to go together there, and I am just so happy with the way it turns out. So I hope um, you enjoyed watching. Thanks so much. Bye.